So when I ordered my prescription refill of testosterone last month, it just never came with no explanation. This month, when it's time to order a refill, I get this email instead. If there's a shortage of medicine, then that means the producers aren't producing as much. So let's who the, see who the producers are. I looked this up, and we got a list. I'm going to explore the ones that aren't capsules, um, just to keep it short. Let's start with Allergen, Allergen PLC. They are owned by AbbVie. Who is AbbVie? Well, they are supported by the Vanguard Group and BlackRock. Okay, so what's next on the list? Endo Pharmaceuticals. Who are they? Well, um, they filed Chapter 11 last year, and they're BlackRock. Uh, let's see, who else? Contrarius was number one on that list. Who's Contrarius? Well, it's a family trust. Don't know much else about them. Let's look at Pharmacia and Upjohn Company. Who owns them? Oh, they were acquired by Pfizer. And who is Pfizer supported by? Vanguard and BlackRock. Okay, let's look at the next one on the list. We're going to skip down to Upshur Smith Laboratories. They do a, a topical gel. They're owned by Sawway. Who invests in Sawway? Oh, here's the Vanguard group again. And who is Silchester? Couldn't find anything on them. And then let's go back to Antares Pharma. And they were bought by Halazine. Who invests in housing? Oh, there's the Vanguard group again. And who is this SSGA? I only did a quick explore on the testosterone because that's what I take. I imagine it's a similar situation for estrogen. But I just find it kind of funny. Who are these people and why are they suppressing our ability to get medicine? That's a rhetorical question. I think you know the answer.